Welcome back to Real Talk. I'm Jake Penningell and I'm here with my dad, Roger Penningell, Sarasota's luxury waterfront po- property specialist. Good morning, Hi. Jake. Hi, Dad. How are you today? Good, how are you? Good, I noticed you're kind of dressed up, so am I. Why well, are you dressed up? Well, today it's, we're uh, going to the event that Mom is in charge of. It's a charity event for Moffitt Cancer Center in Tampa. And it's a big event. It's at Selby Gardens. There are going to be over 300 people, and I got my Sunday best on. Why are you dressed up? I'm dressed up because at St. Stephen's today, it's All Saints Day, and we're celebrating that in the chapel. That should be pretty exciting. Do you love going to St. Stephen's? Yeah, it's a lot of fun. I have um, some really good friends there, and uh, you get to learn a lot that you wouldn't learn at other schools. St. Stephen's is really one of Sarasota's and Bradenton's finest schools. We have scoured the area to find the best school for our kids. It's a college preparatory school. It's a big sports program, and I know Jake loves going there. So Jake, it's morning. We're getting ready to go to school. It is so dark out. Do you know how that's going to change this weekend? Um, it's daylight savings time. Right. Do you know anything about daylight savings time? I did a little bit of research for us. So daylight savings time was actually the idea of Benjamin Franklin, who knew that. But nothing ever, and the reason that he came up with it was one of the same reasons why it ended up becoming something that we all, you know, I'll say celebrate, was to save energy. And back in his day, it was to save candle wax. So nobody really caught on to that until the early 1900s, and the first daylight savings time actually took place in Germany. And that, again, was to save oil. That was the idea. So one of the things about daylight savings is to make the idea was to make the most use of the sun. So what's going to happen is, remember the little moniker that we, we were studying, how do we remember for daylight savings time? What do you do in the spring? Uh, that's, uh, yeah, you're not the first person to be confused by that. It's spring forward, and on Sunday we're going to fall back. So on Sunday at 2 in the morning, everybody set your clocks back. And once more, we will suffer through daylight savings time. But you get an extra hour of sleep. Yeah. Does that make you happy? Yeah. Thanks for joining us on this special edition of Real Talk with my son, Jake Pettingell. We'll see you next week.